Jane's house is no longer there. Barn is still standing. Jane's went last week for a minute, popped a 1700 Spanish Real and a fatty Indian. So we will see how that continues. I uh, hope it's not a curse, but we will show you the first good find. Hang tight. All right, well, not first, but second strike. I got me some kind of two-piece military button if I don't lose it here. That's definitely an eagle. I don't know if it's Civil War era. It looks a little, looks a little newer than that. I don't know, that's Civil War era. Stretch neck, eagle, service button. Hell yeah, I'll take that, been a while. That's a mage killer, huh? So I got on a, another find here, flat button, but it's fancy as old get out, as the plug master would say. That's the code for my next buried treasure. We're going to decipher this in the next video. All right, next find. I think I got an IHP here. And she's going to come out of here for you. Please be a 77. That would be so freaking sweet. Ain't getting on much, but I got the old horse flies attacking my every piece of skin on my body. There we go. Man, she turned out nice. 1865. Not even close. So it's probably still pretty old. Oh yeah, it's a second hole here. We got into the cornfield. I'm hoping up on that little hill there, there might have been a home site. Um, yeah, lead seal, man. Musket ball. Looks like somebody's uh was trying to make a counterfeit coin out of this. James is calling musket ball. I'll catch up with him. All right, I'm back out here. I just walked about a mile mile and a half two miles way up over the hill and back down this is an old fort that people in this area would come to during the indian raids in the 1700s i'm going to take you in here in about a second uh, this is my first good signal i'm gonna walk up this is 1700s pewter spoon handle so there's our first good sign. Hopefully there's more. I brought the six inch coil, so we're gonna get in the iron here. All right, so I'm inside here. Um, a lot of the stone are buried, but uh, here's one of the cuts, the big, huge cut stone. I mean, that thing is probably as long as my leg. That is a huge cut stone. If I get back into here, I mean, it's, there's another big, huge, huge cut stone. And there is just a pile of them back in here. See, this is a pretty cool site. Um, just laid with iron. I'm going to try to get through with the six inch and see if I can find something cool. All right, this iron's pretty hard to get through. There's like three and a half million square nails here. But another piece of lead pewter spoonage. And that's a cool one. Nice. All right, I think I got a cool relic right up against this ancient fence post here. I think I got me a button. Probably lost while putting the fence in. I don't think it's a uh, fort old, but uh, a cool relic nonetheless. All right, folks, we are out today. We got Zach of the History Harvesters and the Dutch boy Dustin D'Augustino. 
think I'm first on the board. I just had dug a weedy. Now I see a big old circular object in the ground right there. I think it's a copper. I'm pretty sure of it. We're going to let these guys film and I'll be back with these signals like okay, here she is bro you go like this and it'll just pick up like you'll hear something then you go back and you yeah. dial it in she's pretty crusty a lot of the times that pro doesn't do but that. but if you're getting I'm signals i'm thinking it's a kg2 mm -hmm. the deeper the better back out here oh yeah how deep was um, it four three four yeah inches. maybe four inches that target there was maybe six, six there's inches. the back of george's hair tie facing to the right so beat up right now, I would just tackle him. <laughs> and you can see the shield of Britannia there. I've been hearing lately she's uh not holding a trident, but she holds a feather duster. <laughs> you get all something. I heard you. <laughs> that is thick. All right, I think I got another one. It hit uh high 20s or low 30s on the knocks. Right there she be. Now I'm hoping for my first lip cap. I got the half cent. I just need the large. Give her a light rub a dub. I think there might gonna be a bust on here. A real thick. I it's think it's thick. gonna be US. Hopefully my chain scent. No. <laughs> Fujio. bus to see I think I see a bus there's something I got my camera about my chest here. Hey Jerry, that's a great part. <laughs> yeah. Let me help you with it. I'll back in the hole. Hey. There you go, you can re-dig it there. <laughs> Man, these boys are gonna hate me. I'm on like my 20th minute and this is my third coin out of here. This is gonna be an amazing day. Let's just hope there's some silvers. Thank you, Dustin, for bringing me up here. I appreciate the invite. Let's see what we got here. Now, this was a very iffy signal, but I took a chance on it. And... 18... Something, something. I can see the 18 at the bottom here. something we'll get it all cleaned up then for the wrap up i'm hoping that's a great bust coins are pretty uh bad shape coming out of here oh there we go we got some stuff flaking off there Eighteen, eighteen. if i had to guess Or 16. It could be a classic head. We will clean her up later. Beautiful. All right, next good hole. Big fat musket ball. Lean down because she's flat. Next up, we have a nice little piece of. I'm going to call it. Either a scutcheon or a piece off a flint lock. Um, they often had a brass design around the one panel. Um, I don't think there's anything on this. 
If I see something, I'll let you know. This is old. This is gray patina. Sweet. I don't know where these dudes took off to, but they all know to stick by me. Coin number four. It's here somewhere. I just seen it in the impression. Oh crap, I lost it. These things are toasty. I will not complain though. It's been a while since I found some coppers. I've just been re-hitting and re-hitting my old sites. They're still producing, just not big coins. Still some cool relics come out of the ground though. Give us a little rubby dub dub. See what we got, see if we can get an ID quick. <clears throat> That one's pretty wiped. I'm sure we'll get something off of it then. All right, back to digging. Copper number five. Boom. She was a deep one. I wish my phone would focus. It's being a butthole today. There we go. See what this one is. There has to be some silver in here, man. I'm gonna go ahead and say this is a colonial, probably a KG. Try not to knock the vertigree off here. Let's try to get an ID. Alright, get her in the sun. I see some letters and stuff. And he says, that's, that's a KG. KG, at I will clean these up and have uh, photos at the end. And hopefully add notifications. Awesome. a toe tap we are in a very old spot for the Americas I wish I was over there with all you UK guys man that'd be a time of a lifetime but unfortunately I gotta dig the oldest stuff we got here which I ain't complaining the old Dutch boys are on a button here I don't know. It looks like it has a design. Does it? It's yet. To me, I mean. Yeah, I, I think, I mean, it's got me back and forth. I've rushed it. I don't, I'm just see this flat it. line here it goes across? Yeah. Got me thinking. I'm just going to say. Good idea. Yeah. Yet again, I think I have another copper. You can just see the tip of it. I'm going to gently try to get this out of here. There she popped. Ooh, that looks small. That's a small one. It's super thick. I bet that's a half cent. I'll try to get it focused up here. Ooh. How thick that is. Almost, dude, that almost looks like Roman coin. It's heavy, too. Lightly rub it. I think this is going to be something pretty cool. Um, I'm going to let it dry out a little bit. Work on it, and I'll be right back. Alright, so I think this is going to be a farthing of some kind. Today. There you can clearly see Britannia. And I don't believe they flip like this. 
and there's a bust. This could even be a KG-1. I'm pretty sure, see the ring? This is a KG-1. Unless it's a William. Uh, this may be a William. This, is, this could be 1600s. This is different than anything I've ever dug. Um, I'm gonna let this dry out and I'm gonna try. Yep, I see a 1-6 right there. This is a 1600s coin. That's amazing. Dustin's gonna freak. Wow. It's super, super thick. Right on. If maybe it's is it a William and Mary? Just, I can't tell. Now I only see one bust. I'm pretty sure that's a William. That's awesome, man. All right, we're all cleaned up here. Got them as good as I can. There's uh, the, the buckles, there's a flat button, uh, <clears throat> a real nice big ball button. <laughs> Nothing on it, uh, the back's coming out of it. Some cool pottery with the pink there on it. Big old musket ball, toe tap, some harmonica reed pieces. 41 Jeff, a weedy. Maybe we can get a year even. Mm -hmm. Give her a little scrape. It said nope. Do some more cleaning on that. <clears throat> and there's that big old lead poker chip. Things a honker. We got the the George trifecta. We got the KG. Come on, focus, man. The KG one. And I do have a date on this. It's very hard to see. It says 1718. Verified in the loop. Let me see if we can get some better light on it here. Yeah, 1718. That's my nicest looking KG-1. I thought it was William, but it's not. The other ones I have are completely smooth. I mean, bare bones smooth. Then the KG-2. Dax Toast. And the KG-3 which could possibly be a match in Mills contemporary counterfeit. Hair tie looks a little off. <clears throat> and then downstairs here we have a matron. You have another matron. A really crusty one. And then this thing, I cannot figure out what it is. Um, some ways I hold it, it looks like a Liberty cap. Like that way. If you can see top of the bust right there and then the cap coming out. It's very, very hard to see. Try to get it up in some side light here. Oh, that that just got way worse. 
Um, and then if you flip it this way, <laughs> kind of looks like a bust face and left with a cap. It's just a weird coin. I don't know. It's if anybody has any ideas of what it could be, I can't figure it out. Maybe a George the Third small head that way, but very off center. But I'm thinking that's a cap. Just like that. I don't know. It is what it is. I'll throw it in with some pocket change and let it roll around, see if any detail can come back up, but not too shabby. It's been a while since I got six coppers in a hunt. I'll take it though. As always, if you like what you see, I hope I earned your prescription today. Please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you can see all my new upcoming videos. Till then, happy hunting and dig some good stuff.